Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you're well. What we're going to be doing is learning about the magic wand. In the last lesson, we learned about the lasso tool and how that was going to help us to select around an image using our mouse and a select point that put the, the uh, marching ants around that object. This image is going to be a tarantula. So you need to be prepared if you're a little bit squeamish um, and you're, you're not sure about spiders, it's going to be a spider on your screen. Three, two, one, there's the spider. Okay, so this spider, the reason I've got this is it's from our previous pages that we've used for our golden ratio work and our rule of thirds. So it's one of the images that we've used to go and create our composition. So this image, the reason I've used this image is because it's all white around the outside. So it's all one color. That's what makes uh, the magic wand easier to use. Now in the second half of this clip, I'm going to use an image which is going to be the frog. And you're going to see how hard it is to use the magic wand um, based on colour alone. The beauty of um, Paint.net is that it allows you to have a lot of control with the magic wand, which is really not unique, but it is a strong point of Paint.net. And it's one of the things that I like for young children to use to get used to using the magic wand because it's so useful okay so let's go into paint.net okay let's go in and have a look to see what paint.net looks like to start with so we're going to open up paint.net and we are going to go and drag our download into this okay so make sure you've got paint.net open go into our pages go and grab uh, this spider, which is from here, which is in lesson three. So you'll have done this already. So this is in uh, part three. So when we're composing an image, you'll have gone and used these images already. So you know how to download this. I'm going to go into here and right click and download this and go and save image as. So save image as. All right. And then once I've gone and saved image as, it'll say where do you want to where do you want to keep it? And I've and I've got a place called paint.net because I've got so many images. Okay, I've got a spider in here already. So I'm gonna call this spider, like so. And you can see it's, it's saved in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna go into paint.net now. And what I need to do is open up my folders so that I can go and grab paint.net um, from my paint.net folder. I'm going to just, this is going to come into your screen, okay, because I've got another screen to my left here. And there's my spider. So this is where I've downloaded it from. And then I can pick it up, long press, and drag it in here. And you can see that when I do that, um, it gives me this little kind of plus sign uh, to tell me that I can go and drop it into paint.net. And we did that in the second lesson, I think. So I've got more, all my windows moved all over the place from the previous lessons. Um, so I've got my layers over here and this has background, which is fine. OK, so in my layers here, um, I'm going to go and double click on this and call it spider, because what I want to do is cut out all the white and leave the spider there. OK, so I'm going to go and just double click on this. OK, like so and call this spider. Or a capital P, Spider, or Spidey. Let's go and spell it properly, Mr. Glenn. Come on. There we go. Right, done. So once I've got my spider menu uh, labeled, my layer labeled, what I'm going to do is just go and use my tools now. And the tool we're going to use is this one here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in again just so you can see it. Magic key, and you can see it says S S S S S. So when I put my mouse over there, th because the reason it does that is because each one of these is a selection tool. So this one's a rectangle, lasso, which we had a go at last time. 
uh, I've got a an ellipse or a circle and then I've got a magic wand so I'm going to go into my magic wand you can hit s as many times as you need be which is four and then at the top here is my tolerance and what I like about this is it's on a slider now in other programs you have to put this in yourself here you can grab it and slide it up and down which is really super handy and I'll show you why so when I go into here like this you can see that it's gone around here but this is darker this is not quite the same shade of white as this area here so when I pick this up you can see it starts to pick up more of the white the problem is though that it's also picking up the shades of that kind of beige color as well as on the tarantula's knees and legs so what we're going to have to do is just be careful that we don't take too much of the tarantula in here or spider so if i zoom in there can you see it's taken away some of the knees and we don't really want that so we just need to get practiced with um this selection tool so just take i'm going to make sure that the, the marching ants go off the knees of the tarantula like that or spidey and then i just go and hit delete so you just hit your delete key on your keyboard like that and it takes it away you can see it leaves the letters here but we can use the eraser for that so next what we'd like to do is start to click into the other colors and start start to take away huge pieces of uh, color at the same time and you can see we can go and be very delicate with this and start to take away a lot of color in one go just by using this slider up and down okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to let you do this in this first bit go and choose the spider because it's the easiest one really and then later on we're going to go and have a go at the spider on the on the on the branch and just you see why it's easier to use the lasso tool in certain respects which is from the previous lesson to the magic wand which is now but we're going to have a go and just see what the difference is and what tool is easier when you look at an image and you can find out where I can take color out of this image so the reason we're using a spider is because there's a lot of white and we can take the insect out or the arachnid sorry out of the background color really easily all right then we're going to arrange it I'm going to do a quick arrangement in this lesson as well okay so this is for you to go and have a go now um, and then you can upload that to Google Classroom in your in your add file section and, and I'll have a look to see how you've got on. So go and take uh, the white out of this and then in the next bit we're going to go and have a look to see what we'll end up with. All right. So go and have a go at that. Take the white out as much as you can using the tolerance bar um, by taking chunks of color out and see how well you can isolate that tarantula or spider all right good luck